Biden says this is to support the end goal of having a free, open, and stable Indo-Pacific region to address climate change and create more modern infrastructures. The breadth of our discussions reflect just how vital the Indo-Pacific and ASEAN region are to the United States of America. The, uh, the Indo-Pacific is uh, an Indo-Pacific that is free and open, stable and prosperous, and resilient and secure is what we're all seeking. And that's why last October at our virtual summit, I announced $100 million to support for programs to strengthen U.S.-ASEAN cooperation. And today, I'm announcing another $150 million uh, of initiatives to deepen U.S.-ASEAN relations and achieve uh, more, uh, our, even better, our shared objectives from the Coast Guard to climate change to, uh, to modern infrastructure. Biden maintains that the U.S.-ASEAN partnership is critical in creating a stronger Indo-Pacific where the rule of law and the human rights is respected. We're committed to a future where the rules and norms that have made possible so much growth and prosperity and stability in the Indo-Pacific are upheld and strengthened, including respect for the rule of law and for human rights. And as we look around the world, all the challenges we're facing, the ASEAN-US partnership is critical, I think, to meeting the moment we find ourselves in history right now. We'll continue to elevate this partnership and strengthen our cooperation and to make a better, safer, more prosperous world for all our children. Children. President Duterte skipped the first U.S. ASEAN summit. Now, during one of his talks to the people, Duterte said the reason for his absence is that he did not want to make decisions that would not be acceptable to the next administration. 